What's going on everyone? It's your boy Wes back at you another video. Today I'm showing you guys and girls how to set up link one on social book IO. With that being said, let's get it cracking. So you're wondering what is link one? Link one is it's similar to Link Tree. Basically a place that you'll be able to put all of your social media links into one place, making it easier for your fans, supporters, viewers. To follow you and see where all your social media links at instead of you having to spit out separately your social media links to them so let me show you guys and girls how to use it so obvious you go to my page I mean you go yeah you click my in order to find it you know you go to your social book IO profile then you go to free bio link link one you click that it'll bring you to this page you see right here um, right underneath where it says my page you go to about me this is where you're going to set the beginning of your link one page up and what you'll do is what I would suggest is you first uh, put your profile title and your bio so I put Wes you put whatever you want put profile title and you put your bio um, I put you know we help creators to grow whatever you whatever you see fit you put it then after that you pick an image that you want to use to go at the top part you see the little circle area that's where your image goes so be mindful of what image you pick that way it fits it looks pro it looks nice inside of the circle just for the video purposes I just put almost any um, image but you pick your image and you put it inside there and then that's all that's literally how much space you get for your image after you do that you click Save and then I'll give you a notification update profile successfully after that you go to social media go to section where it says social media and this is where you put your links you put your links in here and if you want to add more links you don't only get three links you can put you have more you can add but you click plus link and then it'll drop it'll send you more links that you could add so you know you put in whatever social medias you have you put it in here and what happens is It'll add a button right here. You see where right underneath where it says uh, we help creators grow There's buttons right here. So I'll have YouTube, Twitter and Instagram links right there. So after you do that, after you put all your social media, because what this does is it basically it shows people um, the icons of your social media. That way, when they first look at your page, you know, usually people look from the top down. So they'll see your picture. They'll see your name which the a quick short bio of your page then they'll look underneath that and they'll see okay those are the social media links that you got that you have available that's not the actual place that they'll click to go to your to go to those social medias that's just the bar that basically shows them what you're going to be what social medias uh what social medias are going to be displayed on your page what you have available to offer then what happens is once you put those links in it'll add those in those icons then you go to links this is where your actual um the actual buttons you make the actual buttons okay so after you come from this section you go to links this section is the actual section where you make the clickable buttons for when people visit your link one area so you go here and you add on whatever social media links you have or whatever social media platforms you're on so I added Instagram YouTube and Twitter and what happens is once you make that you see I, I took it away and then once you add that in there it'll bring up your Instagram button and these are actual actual clickable buttons these are the actual clickable buttons so once you do that mind you what you could also do is you can add more icons to the buttons so say for example you want to make it easier because sometimes you know people are very visual and, and we live in an age of technology where people don't want to read unfortunately so to help them out even more you can add icons to help them to add to the button so what you do is you go to in so for example I made the Instagram button to add more visuals to the button you go to you click the little image um, icon and then you can add an icon and then what happens is once you uh, you click change icon you want to add Instagram 
And what happens is that helps you put save. You can change the color, whatever color you want as well. So I'm just use default. Actually, let me change it red so it can be a little more visual. And then boom, you put that in there and then I'll add an Instagram icon. That way they know um, that the icon that correlates, you know, that correlates with the word. It'll be easier visually for people to identify and click which button, which um social media they want to follow you on. So after you do that, you go to YouTube, you do the same thing. You go here, click icon, YouTube, boom. What color you want? Obviously, you're gonna to try to keep it. If you want to, you can keep it uniform. Make another, one, make all of them red. Same thing, with Twitter. You select um, icon, oh, and then you go to system icon, and then you just check. You just um select the Twitter. And then that's it. Oh, you got to change. Obviously, you got to change the color so it'll be all uniform. And that's if you want to. And then this is how it looks. Another cool thing you could do to grab their attention on the icon, on the um, buttons, you can also add animations to these buttons. So, for example, you go to right on the right hand side of the icon of the image icon or the thumbnail icon. You see something says is a star it says animation you click that you can add different animation to it now pay attention to the YouTube actually let's go to Instagram since it's at the top so let's pay attention to Instagram right you go there you can put blink and it'll blink and make that little flash to give attention but if you want to give people more get get people's uh, attention more you go something like wobble and that see you see how we would put that icon I mean you put that in, um, animation it wobbles so these are cool things that you can add to your buttons to just bring it to life bring more attention to people or bring more attention to your link one page and just you know just add some life to it so people could you know basically be like, oh this is cool you know so after you do that also now in regards to the buttons you go down to where it says style you could change you and then you go to buttons you can put your buttons to whatever you want whatever you want that's how your buttons are gonna look you go to you could fill in the blank you could fill in the boxes you could outline them you could give it a hard shadow you can do so much with this particular thing to your buttons then if you want to change your background there's different things you can do to background you can do a flat background flat um color background gradient whole bunch of stuff but i would suggest you know up update your um i would suggest you just you can use your own image you can even use videos if you want but for this i'm gonna just keep it the same and uh we're just gonna add something regular to it and call it a day why did i add this lady hold on a second yeah i'm just bring back my old image so yeah you can add any image that you have on your computer to the background as well which is cool um text you can add different text to it you could color the text you can do so much with theme you can add different themes if you want whole bunch of different themes to it so let's just say um i wanted to choose uh, uh let's just choose this theme the real right boom you could customize it if you want. There's a whole bunch of stuff you could do with it. But um, yeah, this is basically, and then after you're done with it, you click create to solidify everything that you made on the back end of link one. Once you do that, your link one is good to go. Oh, one last thing on the top right hand side where it says, where it says link, it says, uh, it has my link up here. It says the legendary west dot link dot one that's where you create your link for that you give to your audience or any you know anybody you follow any all your followers um your viewers supporters that's your link one link that you wanna you know that you wanna save and create make sure it's something that correlates with all your social media or anything that's memorable that's easy for for your fans to remember so all you gotta do is if you want to customize it or rather change it you go to the top right hand side or rather the top left hand side and 
you click edit you click the pencil and it brings you to the edit of the screen and then you can just edit whatever you want on this particular area and you can put whatever you want as your link one link for people to to click also you can edit your link one link all you have to do is go to the top left hand side and you see where it says the legendary west dot link dot one and then there's a pencil right there you click the pencil and then it'll bring you to a screen for you to edit your link one link and all you got to do is put what you want your link one link to be and then after that you save it you can also obviously you uh you gotta put the page title as well i'll just pick, keep it basic the legendary west and then after you're done you save it and then you could copy this link you press copy link and then what happens is it copies that link for you and then you can use it and just you know put it wherever you need to put it and that's basically it simple it should take you maybe i mean it could take you anywhere between five to ten minutes to make this it's very simple very user friendly um and that's basically it for this uh, hopefully i showed you the ins and out of this um i am going to make a future video on how you can make money using link one and i hope everyone has a good blessed day with that being said this is your boy wes i'm out of here peace